Ready? Yep. Man, it's so much easier to walk along the edge of the pond now. How great is that? some treacherous terrain. But the rocks look great. The vegetation, however, does not. Never have too many rocks. Covered up all of the original riprap a couple years ago. We just had busted up concrete from sidewalks that were um, down underneath all of this, but then that ultimately got buried. Pond neglect. That's what we've got going on here. Got too many other things going on in life. Keep as much of the earth up where we want it and not sliding down the hill. Man, look at this mess. This mess. The forage base is so strong. So strong. The one positive about all of this Kara algae and Nyad are the minnows that are all over in here. Just incredible. I mean, this is like a 10 square foot spot in the pond and they're just teeming. Going out to do some more dye testing to see where our leak rate is at. Okay, I've got a, got a balloon with a slow leak in it. Okay, going down. Got a slow leak on this guy. So I don't even think I need to pop the balloon. Just gonna get this down there on the bottom near where our leak was last year. All right, so I bumped the bottom with the camera on the way down, but that balloon is slowly releasing some dye through a pinhole. That was an accident, but it's actually um, gonna work out okay for us. Oh, there's a... Okay, so the pipe is there. I'm on the south side of the pipe. So our die is right there, pipe there, dock is there, back side of the dam, behind me. Okay, so now I shifted over just to the north side of the pipe, trying to see if the dye has worked its way this way. The pipe does not look to be like there's any dye left around it, but as I move the camera back this way, the dye is more over here. So I released it over there, close to where that buoy is, and more of the dye is over in this area more to the north. Little Cleo. Ha! Are you kidding me? Let's pull that red ear sunfish. 
So this is some of the fishing that I thought I would be doing on our pond out deep in 20 feet jigging for walleyes. Oh, I don't know what I got here. Doesn't feel like a wall. Well, doesn't feel like a walleye. Nope, little bass. Little bass. Ooh, that one's got a little bit more weight on it. What do we got? Oh, just a, just a fighty bluegill. Circling bluegill. They're healthy ones. Must be great for the pan. Uh, oh, it's just a fighty bluegill. They get turned sideways and a nice healthy fish. Good bellies on them. Getting a nose. Apparently this dye ate into the balloon and popped the balloon. And so now I just got a bucket of dye. We'll give it a shot. Pour some right there. See if some of that doesn't sink. I think when you put this tracer dye in the water It'll maybe sink five or six feet before it just kind of disperses all around and then it's hard to trace. If your pond is, you know, eight feet deep or so, it'll, it'll maybe find a, a path down to the bottom, but at 20 feet, 23 feet out here right now, I don't anticipate this die getting sucked down fast enough to find what little leak we have left with the volume of water here you're not going to be able to trace it as well all right so a few minutes later i can just see see some red here on the camera from we're down that's nine feet i can start to barely see <laughs> more bluegills gosh they're fun to catch it's a nice male again if you want to grow trophy bluegills that's not a, a trophy, that's, but that's a nice male bluegill. You want to release your males and keep your females. Female is worth 5, 10, 20,000 eggs, maybe more every year. Oh, guys, this one, oh, I think I snagged him by the tail. Shoot, shoot. Uh, come on, little. That's a... <laughs> Dang it. It's, it's actually a decent sized smallmouth. It's maybe the biggest smallmouth that I've caught out of the pond, and I got him by the tail. Goodness. Yeah. So when that smallmouth that I follow hooked in the tail popped off, the hook came back and got me right in the back of the neck. I have to do some surgery to get it out. 
because we got a fish hook stuck in my neck, I need I need my daughter JC to help me get it out because I can't see it. Can you? Mm-hmm. Can you? It's a little tiny hook. I just got one of the troubles in there. Okay. Like this. Mm -hmm. And just like you're pulling a tooth out that's wiggly. And I'm gonna hold down on on this end right here. Mm-hmm. And this part's what's stuck in my skin right there. And you're just gonna go pull the string. And yep. You're gonna pull you're gonna pull it low, okay? Don't pull like this, but pull uh -huh. it low. To bend the hook? Well, and and you'll just yank it. Oh, okay. Okay, not not just a pull. You know, like when bend. you're ripping a band-aid off, it hurts when you're mm -hmm. when you're just like taking it a little bit off. You're just gonna pull the skin. But what I want you to do is give it a good yank like that. Okay. And the hook's just gonna come right out. Okay. How do you feel about that? Not great. And I can't do it because I can't see it. Mm-hmm. Okay. How does it lock? Just okay. You gotta, when you do you, it. Yep, you gotta push. I don't think I can get them on it. Is the Are you, are you getting it on the, on I the can't, bottom hook? Like there's not there's enough not room space. there. Okay. So, so then we're gonna do the string method. I mean, we could do that, or there's hook a different or hook. We could hook a different hook. Okay. I can hook this hook. Okay, you ready? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get in this in the spot. And just yank. Yep, but you gotta go hard. Okay, ready? Yep. Didn't it work? It broke it. It broke what? It broke the hook off. Huh. Okay. Well. Hook the other hook. Hook the other hook? I mean, it got it a little bit. Hook the other hook? I'll hook the other hook and try to hook some of the base. Okay. You gotta go hard and fast. Got it. Nice. There we go. I'll Dude. get a paper towel. Am I bleeding? A little bit. It's not a gusher? No. Did the hook come out or did the hook stay in my skin? I mean, here's the hook, so... Great. It came out. Good work. Thanks for your help. I couldn't have done that. Mm-hmm.